Hi right, guys, so I'm back with another video, man, and today I wanted to go over all of the lenses that I currently have for my Canon 90D. But I gotta preface this video first by saying that I'm not a camera nerd or a lens nerd. I'm just the average person that knows a little bit about cameras, uh, in a sense, just enough to get me by with cameras and lenses, alright? So if I say something incorrect about any one of these lenses, man, feel free to drop a comment below and correct me because I do not get in my feelings over comments because everybody is entitled to their own opinion, alright? So with that, we're gonna jump right into the very first lens that I have for my Canon 90D. And this is an old lens right here. This is the Young Nuo. 50 millimeter f1.8 f1.8 right yep f1.8 this is a very old lens i bought this lens with my canon rebel t5 years ago i think i paid under 100 bucks for it right now on amazon i think it's like 82 dollars yep it's about 82 dollars on amazon but you could probably find it on ebay for even cheaper this is a very very inexpensive way to get into the 50 millimeter focal length if you just want to test it out it's a plastic lens as you can see from the mount it's very, very plastic. It is very, very inexpensive, and it does feel really, really cheap. One of the only cool features about this lens that I like is the fact that it does have uh, autofocus uh, and that it is f1.8. All right. As far as the thread on this thing, if I'm not mistaken, it's 52 millimeters. And again, this is a really cool little lens to just test out if you want to see what that 50 millimeter focal length just looks like. All right. And with the 90D, shooting photos with this lens is pretty good. This is not the best lens. It's not going to be like... You know, it's better. Than, it's not going to be better than like the Canon and anything else out there. Uh, but at the same time, this can just get you started. Um, do I use this lens currently right now in 2024? I don't. It typically sits on the shelf uh, because I don't really have a need for 50 currently right now because I'm primarily video. I don't really shoot a lot of photos, but I am starting to get to doing more photos. So I know uh, this summer, uh, actually probably this weekend, I'll probably be using this uh, to take a few photos because there's a dance coming up for my daughter, formal dance and stuff. So I'm going to be taking her pictures and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure I'll pull this out uh, and take a few portraits and stuff with this lens. But again, a very inexpensive young Nuo 50 millimeter F1.8 lens. Check it out if you just want to throw this in your stash. Uh, it is a good lens to just have on hand for whatever situation you may find yourself in. All right, next on the list is a kit lens right here. And this is the 18 to 55. I don't got my glasses on, y'all. This is the 18 to 55 uh, Canon lens. This is the, what, this is 3.5 to 5.6. So we already know this is not going to be that good in low light. But at the same time, this is a good lens. 18 to 55, cool features about this lens is that it does have autofocus and image stabilization built into the lens. So that's going to be really cool there. This is a plastic lens all plastic design as you can see from the mount right there if I can get that there we go all plastic design very inexpensive lens uh, right now on Amazon this lens is going for renewed about 105 bucks to 109 uh, brand new with like a whole kit and all of that stuff man it's like 213 uh, dollars or something like that so it's still pretty it's not expensive, but it's still, you can still get caught and spend, you know, 200 bucks for it. Um, so I highly suggest if you're going to get this lens, just get it renewed, man, and you'll be good to go. Uh, this lens is really, really cool for just, it's like static video and just standard photos, all right? Um, it's not good for vlogging. By no means, this 18 is a little bit too tight on the face. Um, so I don't recommend it for vlogging, but I do recommend it for like if you just have your camera static and it's just standing on a tripod and you want to shoot some video, uh, this lens will work for stuff like that, but it's not going to work for handheld, walking around, vlogging and stuff. It's good for photos as well because it's just a standard kit lens and it can get you started uh, as well as this 50. They can get you started um, just into the world of shooting some quick video uh, and shooting some quick shots, man, just to see what your Canon 90D can do. This will be a good lens for that. Um, other than that, professional work and all that stuff, there may be some people out there that are saying you can use this for professional work, but I would just stay away from it in that aspect. But if you're doing YouTube, you can't go wrong with just having a lens like this. All right. Uh, and in another video with my 90D, if you guys want, want me to, man, I can show you guys like what, you know, these lenses look like in just a controlled environment, shooting like talking head shots and stuff like that with lenses like this. If you guys want me to do that, just drop a comment, man. Oh, thread on this is 58 millimeter as well. So just another quick lens, man. It is a kit lens, um, but you can't go wrong with it if you just want to add it to your stash. All right. So next lens on my list is one of my favorite lenses out of the bunch that I have. And this is the 10 to 18 right here. The 10 to 18. Two of the cool features on this thing, man, is that it has autofocus and it does have a uh, built-in image stabilization. So all already right there you know you're gonna be good to go this goes all the way down to 10 millimeters so you can use this lens right here for vlogging with your canon 90d 
I feel like this is going to be the best lens that you can use with the 90D uh, in regards to vlogging, especially if you got a bright sunny day outside and stuff like that. This lens is going to be good because again, this is a 4.5 to 5.6, so it's not going to be that good in low light. But at the same time, if you just out on a like a good afternoon or whatever, and you want to do some vlogging with your 90D to keep your 90D feeling light, because some of these lenses that I have can make your 90D really heavy. But if you vlogging, this would be the good lens, uh, a good lens for that because it's going to make make your 90D a little bit smaller. Um, even though it's not a small camera, it's going to make it a little smaller, but it's also, this lens will also make it light. All right. So it'll be easy to carry. And again, 10 to 18 right here, thread on this is 67 millimeters. All right. So if you want to put an ND filter on that, it'd be 67 right there. Uh, and again, this is a really cool lens for wide angle everything. All right. So wide angle on the vlogging and wide angle landscape shots for photos, anything wide angle, this is going to get it done right here. And if you look at it from this perspective, you got 10 to 18 and then you got 18 to 55. So if you get both of these lenses right here, you're going to be covered from 10 to 18 all the way up to 55. So 10 to 55. All right. But there is another lens that I don't have that you could also look at uh, getting uh, in regards to the 18 to 55. You could get the 18 to 135, which is a lens I don't have that I'm probably going to get just to add to my stash. Uh, but that's another lens and that's for another video if I ever get that lens. But anyway, the 10 to 18 plastic build. Let me show you. Plastic build. But for some reason with this 10 to 18, even though this is a plastic build, to me this 10 to 18 feels like really well built compared to this 18 to 55 this feels a little bit more cheaper than this and obviously it's because of the glass in here makes this feel a little bit more heavier than the 18 to 55 but this feels a little bit more premium even though it's still all made out of plastic you see what i'm saying so anyway 10 to 18 good for vlogging autofocus uh stabilization built in you really can't beat it if you want to vlog and you got a 90d go ahead and pick you one of these up. All right. So the next lens on my list right now is the 75 to 300. This is another lens that I um that I've had for a long time. I think I got this lens with my Rebel T5, but again, it does work with my Canon 90D. And this is 75 to 300. So my kids play a lot of sports and this is what I use this lens primarily for. None of the other lenses that I have, I've learned that those lenses aren't really that good for sports photography, but something like this really is but it's not it's like mediocre all right uh in regards to sports photography it's like it can get the job done if you know what you're doing uh, but it's not like a super fast lens um, but it can get the job done i've shot a few photos with this lens and it's held up really really well and anytime i go to their sports uh activities or anything like that if i'm gonna grab my 90d and i'm gonna shoot anything sports related this is the only lens that my like out of all the lenses that i have that i feel like is the one that i should take with me all right because i got that 75 you know to 300 it covers that um right here it looks really nice it's a metal design if i'm not mistaken let me see i think it's a metal mount yep so it's a metal mount so this lens does feel premium it feels premium uh it feels pretty heavy uh and this is a 4.5 to 5.6 uh, the only cool feature about this one is that it does have autofocus but it doesn't have built-in image stabilization all right, so if you're going to do anything handheld with this lens, uh, and I'm just saying sports photography. Now, for bird photography and all that stuff, man, I've seen people on YouTube that use this lens for that, and they, they, they really swear by it that it still works, and it's a good lens to have to get started in anything like bird photography, nature, whatever the, you know, whatever the case. Uh, but I don't do that. Um, I may look into that in the future, but I'm, I'm only specifically kind of talking about like sports and what my experience has been. And again, this lens is kind of slow for me, at least. I'm, I'm new to sports photography as well. So being slow kind of uh, to me, I feel like it says a lot because I feel like I want faster photos and I do miss a lot with this. But that doesn't mean this lens is bad. I think I just need to fix my skill and get better. You see what I'm saying? But this lens right here to me, um, it is good and it does get the job done. And anytime I do get a good photo uh, while my kids are playing their sports, anytime I do get a good photo, I give this lens a lot of praise. And every time I get a bad photo, I always say I don't like the lens. You get what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's kind of like a love-hate relationship with this, uh, with this lens. Love-hate relationship uh, with this lens. But I got to say that. Um, anytime it does it right and, it, and I get it right myself, uh, I praise this lens a lot. So I do think this is a lens that uh, if you if you want to get into anything sports a little bit and you want to do like bird photography, wildlife and stuff, I think this is a good way to get into it because you got 75 to 300 and I think you'll be good to go. All right. So this lens right here, I found it on Amazon because I've had it for a while, so I don't really remember. Uh, but I found this lens on Amazon uh, renewed right here for about 159 bucks. 
um, 100, well, 159 to 173. All right, so that's how much this lens is running, 75 to 300. Let's move on to the last two lenses. All right, one of my next lenses uh, is one of my favorite lenses as well, and I really like this lens uh, for video, to be honest with you guys, uh, because I'm primarily a video shooter. I'm like light photography, more video, um, but I really like this lens, and this is a 24 to 105 l4 l lens so this is an l4 lens right here uh, a couple of cool things about this lens that it's an all metal design has that little red line around it so it makes you feel like you're special you know what i'm saying uh right here it does have image stabilization built in as well as uh auto focus right there and i think that for the price of this lens currently right now this is the old version so this is an old version lens right here and i think for the price of this old version lens um at least on Amazon is for $689, but I actually got this lens on eBay from a private seller for I think it was about $250 to $279. And I felt like I got a really good deal, vice what I see here on Amazon. Uh, but again, this lens is really, really nice for video to me personally. It takes a lot of good photos as well, but I feel like it's 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 a video-centric lens, man, for me. Um, again, this is a 24 to 105 F4L. Thread on this is 77 millimeters if you want to throw an ND filter or anything like that on it. But again, this is an all metal uh, designed lens. At least that's what it feels like to me. Um, it does extend out. See what I'm saying? So if you go on 24 to 105, it does extend out like that. So be aware of that some people don't like that. I think the new lenses, when you turn it from 24 to 105, it doesn't you know protrude out like that. But again, this is the old version right here. Uh, this lens is very, very heavy. Very heavy very heavy so when you put this on your 90d and my 90d is up on the shelf uh let me see if i can point at it right my 90d is on the shelf right there right now because i'm shooting with the zv1 but if you put this on your 90d and you put a battery grip on your 90d this thing and that lens i mean this lens that 90d with that you know battery grip man that thing is heavy right it feels very premium but it's a heavy setup all right so just remember that when you when it comes down to lenses like this they are really really heavy but they are good and also remember that the 90d is a crop uh camera anyway so this 24 to 105 is not a true 24 to 105 i really don't remember the uh the, the math off the top off the top of my head but i think it's like 38 millimeters to something or you know something like that maybe 38.5 or 37 i don't know it's something in that range uh but it's not 24 to 105. It's not a true 24 to 105, all right? Because of the crop. But anyway, this lens is really, really good for video. I love this lens for video. It doesn't work here in like my setup as far as video, but outside, if I'm gonna shoot anything video outside, I tend to use this lens and I just sacrifice whatever that crop focal length is on here. I sacrifice it because I like what it looks like coming out of this camera right here. I have shot photos with this cam uh, with this lens, I'm sorry, with this lens and to me, everything looks good as far as photos is concerned. And again, video, this is where it's at for me uh, anytime I go outside and I want to shoot anything like that. All right. So that's the 24 to 105. Uh, it's all metal design. I don't know if I showed you guys that earlier, but it is all metal. Um, and it's a really, really awesome lens, man. And one of these days, <laughs> I'll probably upgrade and get like the newer version of this lens. But for now, this lens is holding me over. And even though it's an F4, it still it still does really well uh, no matter what because the 90D, you could push that ISO a little bit. So this lens still does look really good, man, even though it's an F4. All right, so the final lens on my list, and this is the best lens that I think you should get with your 90D. So if you purchase a 90D, I think you should get this lens with your 90D to get yourself started in general, all right? And that's the Sigma 18 to 35 F1.8. This lens has uh, autofocus on it. The only thing that this lens is missing is uh, image stabilization built in. That's the only thing that holds this lens back. But if you're using gimbals and stuff like that, and you're doing a lot of running gun stuff with gimbals, then you don't. It doesn't matter to you. Um, I don't do a lot of that gimbal stuff and all of that. So uh, image stabilization uh, in regards to video doesn't matter to me as well. That's why I like this lens better, the 24 to 105, because it has image stabilization built in. Uh, but this lens for static video, like if I just sit it up on my tripod and sit it somewhere, because again I'm not running gun. The crispiness out of this is crazy. Photos out of this thing is crazy. This is the best lens for the Canon 90D, at least for me, uh, in regards to video and photo. Like, not nothing professional for me. Um, you know, not wildlife and, and sports and all that stuff, man, but just standard video on a tripod, you know, with the camera pointing at something, this is it. But if you want to do running gun, you have to get like a gimbal or something with this because it doesn't have image stabilization. F1.8, I think the thread on this joint is uh, 72 millimeters, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is a all metal design, as you can see right here, all metal. This lens is really heavy, and if you pair this with your 90D with a battery grip, it's going to feel like a premium setup. 
but at the same time, it's going to be a very, very heavy setup, just like if you was pairing that with your 24 to 105. This lens right here, I promise you guys, is the staple lens for the 90D. It's f1.8, so it's, it's a lot of light that can get into this lens. It's good in low light. I mean, you just cannot lose with this lens. Right now on um, Amazon, it's 575. It said I purchased this lens back in April of 2023. April 26, 2023 is when I got this lens. All right. Uh, this lens is really, really good. I think this is the best lens that you can get for the 90D. I mean, it's just all around. Sigma Art Lens, 18 to 35, man, F1.8, man, 72 millimeter thread. I mean, this is just it right here. This is it. So with that, guys, these are all of the lenses right here that I have for uh, my Canon 90D. All, right, all of the lenses right here. And then I got this one as well. But these are all of my lenses that I have uh, with my Canon 90D. And I feel like, you know, over the years, I've gotten a few of these lenses over the years. I just recently got these two when I bought my Canon 90D uh, originally, but I've, you know, accumulated these other lenses over the years. There's probably about one or two more lenses that I do want to grab. Uh, but for the most part, this is what I have. This is what I work with on a day to day basis. And I feel like over time, I have learned what each one of these lenses is good for uh, and what I can do with each one of these lenses uh, and what situation I need to put my what, what situation, you know, I see myself in. I know which one of these to use. And I think that just comes with time. Um, if I had to say uh, out of all of these lenses, which one do I use the most? It would always I would always have to go with the Sigma 18 to uh, 35. I feel like it's the best lens that you can get for your Canon 90D, hands down. There's a lot of other lenses out there that you can grab. I promise they may be better, but I just feel like, listen, if you're starting out with a 90D and if you get this 18 to 35, you will not be disappointed. All right. So with that quick lens uh, collection that I want to share with you guys for the 90D users out there, man, uh, and for my people who are probably wanting to step into the 90D, these are some options for you to take a look at right here. All right. So with that, it's been your boy, Jay. Hopefully this video has been helpful. And if you found it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to get up out of here. Peace.